Pedro Valdez talks about moving from Cuba to America after the Bay of Pigs invasion. When, when did you live in Cuba? I lived in Cuba since my birth, January 20th, 1945, until July 16, 1961. I was 16 years old when I left. What made you want to, to leave? Freedom. I wanted to be free. How did you find it when you got to the U.S.? I found it very difficult. First of all, because I didn't speak English. I didn't have any friends. Most of my beloved ones, uh, relatives, were in Cuba. So uh, it was very difficult. And all it seems that all the buildings in New York City were the same color. We were accustomed to different colors in different houses. And have you been back? Several times. And what do you think now that you see it? Uh, they have, I have been well treated, but uh, I see the decay in everything around, more so in Havana. Do you miss it or what? Uh... Cuba would always live in my heart and in my prayers. It's coming up to the anniversary of the, the Bay of Pigs. Um, were you, how aware of it, the situation, you know, when it happened, were you? I was 16 years old. I lived very close to uh, where the uh, headquarters for the uh, Air Force was. So when they bombed some of the fields on April 15, I was very aware. And a lot of the people in my, around me and my area and my neighborhood, they were detained as a result of the preeminent invasion. What was it like living through that? Painful. Probably pretty scary too. It was scary. It was painful. Did anything in your mind end up coming out of that? Or did it just happen and then life went on? It actually made everything more difficult for the Cubans. It made it more difficult. In, in what way? In terms of repression, in terms of doubt in regards to the government. And, uh, and we knew that uh, nothing was really accomplished. Are you hopeful that eventually the U.S. and Cuba like normalize relations more so? I hope so. I hope so.